let me ask you something. You ever see a bull moose have a baby with a lion and that lion end up having that baby with that moose? That bull moose baby lion thing ended up becoming a rough rider on the back of a horse riding on up to San Juan Hill in Cuba? If so, you may think you know who I'm talking about and if you don't, well that's President Roosevelt. He was that moose baby lion thing that was a rough rider on the back of that horseback riding on up to San Juan Hill. If you want to learn more about him, keep watching this video. Thank you. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Now let's get to the video. Theodore Roosevelt. He was our 26th president. He was in presidency from September 14, 1904 until 1909. As a little kid, he was often suffering from asthma attacks. Um, his dad basically called him a pussy. So he became not a pussy and became who we know as today. He often played a lot of sports and got into hunting and did as many things so that way his body could be the same as his mind. He had a strong mind, but a weak body is what his father used to tell him. He also couldn't see very well. It's another thing he had to try to make stronger. He doesn't have very well vision, so he got those iconic glasses that we know him wearing. His childhood, he was, like I said, he was trying to get kind of strong and everything, trying to make his body better than what his mind was. So, as he became an adult, something kind of struck him, you know? He, uh, he was married, obviously, and his first wife and his mother both died the same day, which was February 14th, 1884. After their deaths, he ended up moving out west, and he became a cowboy. He ended up staying out there, and he ended up opening up a cattle ranch as well. Then. While he was out there living in North Dakota, or in the Dakotas, he became North Dakota deputy. Living out his dream as doing kind of whatever you want to do, like cowboy, cattle rancher, now he's a deputy. He, uh, I suppose following these people, caught these people down by the river and stayed awake for 40 hours. And he stayed up the entire time, watched them the whole whole time. Did not even sleep, would watch them while they're sleeping. Brought them back that way instead of them getting killed by the vigilantes. It was an actual proper trial. Now it's 1895 and he became a police commissioner, firing the police chief and a bunch more corrupt people going up against corrupt politicians. Everyone that was against him basically and this all happened in the great city of New York. Later on, he became a Rough Rider. We all know this story, how the Rough Riders were, and what they did, San Juan Hill. If you guys wanna learn more, I can leave a link in the bio. He went blind, and because he was boxing, so he lost some of that eyesight in his already poor eyesight eye. But he ain't no bitch. He uh, didn't have a vice president for some of his presidency. Um, he got out in 1905, he ended up going to Africa, and I mean, I'm sure many of us know, he hunted in Africa, and he also brought some animals to his personal zoo that he had. So let's jump to the future a little bit. So after he had got done with everything, he, um, he ended up trying to run for president again in 1912 after he had founded Bull Moose Party. He uh, ended up going to do a speech and he had his whole entire speech wrapped up with his metal eyeglasses case, which ended up saving his life. The reason why that this saved his life was because Someone decided, hey, let's go kill this guy. They shot him. It had gone through into his chest. But the bullet ended up slowing down and it was still lodged in his chest, but it didn't go through. And he pursued with a 85 minute speech. And in this speech, they were trying to get him to the hospital make sure he's okay. 
is what he said. I don't know whether you fully understand, I've just been shot. But it takes more than that to kill a boom, bull moose. He's almost a definition of what a badass actually is. Because not only did he do this, that bullet was inside of him until the day that he died. So like, that's kind of crazy because after he lost against Woodrow Wilson, he almost died again. He, uh, he went to South America and he brought his son Kermit and more people with him. Five of those canoes ended up getting destroyed and the rapids of the River of Doubt. This was a pretty deadly area. There were a lot of cannibalistic tribes and there were a lot of like anacondas and piranhas and I mean, it's South America, right? So he got, his canoe also went down and he tried to save and unlodge two of the canoes with the people in it. He ended up getting caught on his leg and it got infected. He did a lot of cool things. The reason why a lot of our natural forests and monuments are even a thing now, the reason why a lot of our trees are still around in the United States, because him and another man, John Muir, ended up founding all of these national park systems. And they did this because all these big mass companies trying to ruin the ecosystem. They were taking down all these trees. I mean, it, they're making money. The business only cares about money. They stopped this. And that's another reason why he's badass because he didn't let anybody stand in what he believed. Hey guys, thanks for watching and tuning in for another Badass Wednesday. Let me know how you guys like it down in the comment section below. If there's someone you guys would like me to cover, then put that down in the comment selection. And then also don't forget to hit the subscribe button that little bell icon right next to it so that way you can stay tuned for next week's. Thank you guys, have a good night.